Scott running strongly at the moment, just ahead of Talby of Morocco. Scott with that upright style. Mark Scott is fighting in there for a medal. Might this be Great Britain's first medal at these games? It's going to be Barrega from Guillermo, and it's going to be Mark Scott for World Championship Bronze. So who are you, who do you run for, and then what is your ultimate goal? I am Mark Scott. I'm a long distance runner specialising in, in the 5,000 metres upwards. Currently planning a debut marathon with my new team, the NN running team, and also sponsored by Nike as well. And my ultimate goal in the sport is to win an Olympic medal. So tell me, how did you get into running? Yeah, I got into running aged 11, uh, always desperate to run for a club and that was the earliest I could do so. So I pushed my parents to allow me to join. Um, just being a very competitive kid natured. Um, so I wanted to just always strive to become the best and I was more focused on an individual sport than a team sport. Um, and just growing up, um, one of four boys, it was always a competition. Um, and that's where it came from, that competitive nature. Um, and yeah, this individual sport running took off age 11. So what events have you competed in and what events are you going to be competing in in the future? Yeah, so I'm currently in a little transition period, um, stepping away from the track this year and going onto the roads, more focused on the longer distance, heading up towards a marathon debut in October but I've had previous experiences at multiple world championships and Olympics over the five and 10,000 meters. And now, yeah, looking to go a bit, a bit longer, up to 26.2 miles uh, and give the marathon a go with my, with my new team. Alrighty, what was your most recent race and what time did you go? Yeah, so my most recent race was the Great Manchester Run a couple of weeks ago now. Um, Finished in second place, unfortunately, just missed out on the win by four seconds, um, and I ran just outside 28:30 for the 10k. Yeah, what is your biggest achievement to date? Yeah, so my biggest achievement to date would definitely be um, I've kind of got two, and they kind of go hand in hand. I don't think I would have been able to do one without the other. So my biggest achievement is definitely winning the bronze medal at the World Indoor Championships. And it's going to be Mark Scott for World Championship Bronze. Um, I finished third in the 3,000 metres there. Um, but previously leading on to that, I broke, the, I broke my own British and European indoor 5,000 metre record. And Mark Scott with the new record for Great Britain. Byron and Track Club embracing each other on the final straightaway. And I ended up running under 13 minutes, which is pretty lucrative in the sport. Um, to go under 13 minutes is a big barrier, so I broke my own record there and ran 12.57 for the 5K. And like I said, that, that went hand in hand and gave me a lot of confidence moving forward to claim that bronze medal at the World Championships. Cool. Um, just from a personal point of view and probably the general public, how does it actually feel to run sub 13 minutes? Because, you know, that's pretty fast. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's as difficult as it sounds, honestly. I know a lot of people can compare to a general park run. That's kind of where there is crossover now with the same distance with it being a 5K. So people really can see how fast the professional runners are at doing, doing their sports. So, but yeah, very difficult. There was a lot of painful training sessions what went into that. Um, it was high altitude training in Flagstaff, Arizona before going over to the East Coast in Boston and then um, Serbia for the World Championships. So, yeah, a lot of hard training sessions, grueling hours, but all worth it in the end. What are we doing today then? Um, so, yeah, usual two or three times a week. I do a longer morning run, anywhere from nine to 12 miles and follow that up with a gym session. Mm. So just here in the local Nuffield Health, where I'm grateful to have a membership um, that I can, yeah, do my gym stuff nothing crazy not trying to build the muscle or anything just getting strong robust so i can tolerate all the miles and stay injury free what type of training and how much training do you do each week yes yeah, so the easiest way i can compute my my training is in miles obviously 
I do a couple of gym sessions a week on top of the running I do, but in terms of mileage, um, a lot of the time it's more than people would probably drive in a week. So I run, I run about 100 miles every week. Um, that includes one Sunday long run around 18 to 20 miles. Track session typically on a Tuesday and then I'll come out to the roads and do a bit of an endurance session on a Friday there. So with the easy running, double days, three, four times a week, yeah, we're getting up to about 100 miles every week at the minute. What's the main uh, objective of the session then? Is it for your, yeah. for your running, um, your running? Just to aid the running really. I don't want it to take away from the running. No. I don't want to build muscle, so I'm carrying more weight when I am running a marathon. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get strong, robust, so I can tolerate miles and stay injury free. So I often start my gym stuff with a lot of band work. Um, just a little bit of extra warming up from the run and strengthening the calves and the feet, um, which are very important for me as a muscle group and area. Um, it's usually where if I do get injured, that's where it comes from. So it's usually why I start with this and do a lot of calf stuff in this routine. What's your next race? My next major race is going to be um, a British record attempt actually. I'm going after the 10K British record on the road, um, which stands at 27 minutes, 44 seconds. I'm gonna head over to South Africa, um, a town called Durban on the coast and attack that race there. Um, and that's gonna be on July the 9th. Something to look forward to then, isn't it? Um, how do you find, as a northerner, <laughs> you probably, everyone probably can tell from your accent, but uh, how do you find living in the south? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've got to be careful what I say here. I don't want to upset too many people, but it is obviously difficult being a Yorkshireman moving away from home. Um, but there's great training around the area I'm at in the south here. There's a lot of people to run with. Um, the community is good in terms of running, so that's the main thing for me. Um, and the facilities are good around. I'm getting a lot of help and physio and gym access, things like that. So it, it could be worse, let's put it that way. Um, but I am looking forward to moving back up north when, when the time comes. What is it like training in Africa and what is it also like training at altitude? Yeah, so with training in Africa, that comes hand in hand is altitude and that's the main reason people go there. Um, honestly, for people who don't know, it's, it's like breathing through a straw pretty much is altitude training. Very difficult. Um, just living on top of a mountain, not literally, but um, it's, it's difficult. Just the oxygen is a lot lot less than it would be at sea level and that's obviously the difference and why you go there is to build those red blood cells and then training becomes a lot easier once you return to sea level um, but yeah it's a whole different experience going out to, to Africa and training seeing the way of life in Kenya recently with part of the NN team who I'm now a member of so it's great to see them striving to be the best and me tagging along and joining those guys some of the best in the world and being able to run with Kipchoge, the greatest of all time. Um, it's pretty special. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful to be able to do so. I'm gonna follow on from that one then. What is it like um, living and breathing and training with someone like Kipchoge? Yeah, it, it's very special, but at the end of the day, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think, who is this guy and what's he about? Because he just gets on with his, with his life the same as everyone else in, in the team camp and environment. So. It's, it's basic, that's what it's like in Kenya, but you, you only need the basics to become very successful. And the guys over there are pretty evident about showing that. Yeah. Just finally, what is the biggest piece of advice you can give to someone that's getting into run racing? Yeah, the biggest, the biggest advice coming from me, it's just to make sure you're having fun with it. The more people you can get out the door with and share some miles with, then the better. It's going to make your time a lot more enjoyable. You can suffer with other people and have a lot of laughs with other people. So get signed up to a race, um, get some training partners, get the shoes on and yeah, you'll have a great time. I'm done in the gym, uh, about an hour in total for the session. So like you saw earlier, a bit of injury prevention stuff to start with and then I go into a bit more of a routine with focusing on the glutes and the hamstrings. Um, 
for that power and good biomechanics when we're running. A um, little bit of arms. Um, <laughs> They're obviously important for run, for the running <laughs> motion, so can't can't do that. Some the beach weights, um, and then yeah, a lot of a lot of my stuff is kind of car focused. Just where I said uh, had that injury um, or injuries in the past, so I wanted to just develop that and get the calf strong, Achilles and feet. So that was kind of what we focus on today. And again, it's a lot of it is activation for the core as well. There was some core elements to it just for um, for. The track work we're going to be doing tomorrow um just yeah good activation ready to do that uh in the morning so yeah hopefully we'll get some good footage for that as well. faster recovery equals better performance cbd triathlon train harder recover faster